Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. I'm always adjusting that, aren't I? Um, with some updates and some new stuff, and it's a hodgepodge. Uh, first of all, thanks for buying my rings on my website. I appreciate it. Uh, Peanut needs some new shoes. Uh, he was out front the other day and he stepped on a yellow jacket. You have never heard such noise and complaining out of this dog. He's looping around all day. He's okay now. Um, I, I've also put a, I'm offering healings now because I've done a number of free ones around the country and I feel that whatever I'm doing works. So, there's a healing page on my website if anybody's interested. Also, uh, one of you, and I don't remember which one it was, I've looked for who you are, but you said, why not put a donate button on the website? And I thought at the time, I don't want to do that. And the more I thought about it, which is kind of how I am, when I see something new, I, I sort of, I'm, I'm very cautious about anything that happens uh, around me and uh, not for my sake, but often for other people. And so I put a donate button there. It's on the first page. No one's clicked it yet. Peanut needs a new pair of shoes. Also, um, we've had a lot of requests for another Go Live he Healing. So I put one, um, I put one up. Um, Bunny and I are it, it was so good the last time. And I have an update from the lady we helped. I'm going to read some of that. Um, so I'm offering healing. Um, and we have a new go live healing. And it's on the February the 28th at 2 Central here in the United States. So it's February the 28th at 2 o'clock Central in the United States. A new go live healing. And, and I'm already looking forward to it. Um, and um, you should too, because I got some feedback from the lady we helped the last time. It's sort of good and bad. Let's see. Um, I hope you and Bunny and Peanut are stupendous this morning. Apologize for not getting back to you, because I remember asking several people had they heard from her. And um, what's a... It's a long letter. But remember Janice Schaefer, that's who we helped. And it was really good. You could feel it. I mean, you could feel the energy. How often do you how often in your life do you get to participate in something so important as saving someone? How often does that happen? I mean, anyway, I I'm surprised that we had such good turnout and everything. Um Loving kindness, amazing healing souls that connect with you, especially on the night that you sent, or you all sent me the healing energy. You all sent it to me. It's not just for me. I felt energized, returned the color to my complexion, and a firmer texture to her skin. Isn't that interesting? Uh, outward appearances, a lot of changes. Um, she still, she still has cancer and uh, suspected a lymph node, although that didn't prove out to be anything. And uh, she's asking if any of y'all want to send her some more healing, because apparently it worked. Um, she's on her first round of chemo, and um, and I, I talked to her another time, and um, anyway, uh, I, can't, I don't want to discuss it, but um, uh, I feel the healing night was an amazing success. She has a lymph node in her abdomen and the side effects of the chemo and radiation. Um, Kim was there that night. She noticed that Kim was there. Uh, Intuit view, for those of you who have never been there. Uh, she has a channel called Intuit view. Um, uh, 
I envision a circle of souls that radiate healing light around and through me. And she talks some private stuff here. And I hope that I'm successful in communicating my gratitude and appreciation for you and the work you do. Love, Janice. And um, I'm not sure what to do about that, whether we should do that again for her or we should, should a certain amount of time to pass. She's on chemo. I'm not sure that how well this works with chemo. I have no experience with that. Ooh, someone just said they can, it's, it can work uh, in conjunction. So the healing energy will work with chemo, apparently. That's what they're saying. It's no harm, no foul. It's not a problem. Okay, all that um, just updates. Um, uh, they're talking about the government and we're having growing pains. Trying to establish who's right and who's wrong seems to be the order of the day. And once we get that figured out, and people are going to go to jail, and once that happens, then these other crazy yahoos will stop being stupid or acting stupid or doing stupid things or all three of the above. There's no gain if you're going to jail. They, these um, white supremacists and racists were looking for an excuse to do something. Somebody gave it to them. So, I mean, it doesn't take much, apparently. There's not that many of them. They can't overturn a government of 300 million people. They can't do it. All they can do is make themselves look bad and, and get people killed. Also, um, my guys are talking about um, um, predatory lending. Be aware of that. There's some kind of predatory lending going on where companies will seek you out to lend you money and say it's no big deal, but they're going to charge you more than what the going rate should be or allowable law by law or something like that. And I'll tell you my experience with that. My credit card um, went up to 29.99% on my credit card cut that sucker up, called it in, said, cancel that card, I don't need it. And that's how you pretty much have to deal. There's a lot of cards out there. And uh, I've had a lot of offers to lend me money from companies I've done business with forever. And now they're, they're preying on me. They're using, I can't mention the names because I still work with them. Now, the people who do card processing for me have two companies, and they've both been trying to lend me money. Uh, and I know exorbitant rates. Uh, banks have offered to refinance my house. You know, this isn't. And we've investigated that, and the cost to refinance a house to get the lower interest will cost us more to do that than what we're gaining. So beware of these little ploys. They say, oh, we can get you 1.9%, but it's going to cost you this amount, and if you just kept it the way it was, it would, um, variable interest rates are a bad idea right now. Stick with a fixed rate if you can get it. Um, I don't know why we're on to banking and money and stuff, but that's that seems to be, uh, worldwide there's gonna be a panic. Already is, but uh, this one's gonna be financial. The other one was COVID, which has driven um, our government's now paying people to just keep the economy alive. I, I don't think that's a I don't think that's a bad idea. Some of y'all mistook me on that. I think if you can get 400, 600, 800, 1200, if they're going to pay you money and you can pay your bills with it, all for that. Our taxes are probably going to go up to pay for it. But again, this is kind of a big boat we're all in together. So um, I don't see any problem with that. We all have to get to the finish line together. We don't want to lose anybody. We want to hold on to every spirit we got here. But um, a lot of infighting in both parties. Um, I believe the Republican Party is going to split. I believe it already has, and not in name, but already has. I believe there'll be two parties. One we'll call the crazy guys. And one we'll call uh, just a conservative Republican Party. The Republican Party's always been conservative. There's nothing wrong with that. They usually balance things out. These guys want to spend everything. These guys want to save everything. So if you have 
sort of are growing more toward the middle. These yahoos are going to be on their own, led by Mr. Stupid and some other Mr. Stupid people. They'll be glad to step in if you pay them. Um, there's a schism in the Democratic Party, too. I'm not sure what it's about. Loyalty to the party, that's what it's about. Uh, that party has some crazy people on one end and some conservative people on the other end. Most of them are in the middle there somewhere. Right now, voting's going the way of supporting and getting checks and COVID-19, making sure the shot gets out to people. I'm 70, and uh, um, if you feel you need the shot, you need to be proactive and get yourself on a list. There's a lot of lists for getting a shot. You need to be on one. I know there's one here, and then uh, pharmacies have their own list. So CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, all these pharmacies have their own list. So when the, the it does get to them, if you're on that list, they'll call you and you can get a shot. Be the safe person. Get on every list you can. My wife spent yesterday getting me on the county list, there's usually, a, wherever you live, there's a county list, and then there's maybe a local list, and uh, then there's uh, each large pharmacy chain will have a list. Get on the phone, get on each one of these, and uh, the one that calls you first, go get the shot. My wife's ready to cancel the other ones where I just won't, I won't be taking up a spot. So um, get on there, be proactive. They're not gonna come knock on the door and say, hey, you need the shot. They're not. You're gonna have to wander through two months from now and find it in a pharmacy and get a shot. Be proactive. If you're ill, if, you're, if you are, are at risk, um, get on one. Someone's saying time's a wasting. When I say someone says, it's not me. And there's some kind of an Amber Alert nationwide for some little girl that's lost. Um, why they're saying that now, I have no idea. That may just be for here. And a silver car of some kind. Strange the things that come out of my mouth <laughs> that I didn't put there. Um, there's a Hail Mary coming up that we as a nation have a chance to show we can do it right. And if we do it right and re-enter the world that the last administration has alienated. Why they did it, I don't know. And now it looks as though um, the last administration took away sales for farmers. They alienated countries that normally buy our stuff and they stopped buying it. Now farmers are stuck with stuff they can't sell. So he said, hey, I'll just have this fund, this $30 billion fund, and I'll just pay the farmers. When they can't sell their crops, I'll just give them the money. Does this make any sense? You screw up a man's job, thousands and thousands of farmers screwed their livelihood up, and then you're gonna pay them direct payments Joe Biden's taking that money to support small businesses, COVID, and some of these payments that you're going to get. After all, he didn't promise the farmers anything, and he didn't cut off China and all these other countries that wanted to have been buying our stuff for 50 years. He didn't, he didn't alienate those people. He promised to do something about COVID and to rejoin the world uh, in a fashion that befits a country like this. He's going to re get into some of these treaties again. He's going to join you know, the World Health Organization. All these things, are, we're going to re-engage in those things as we did before. Because we need a vote there. Anyway, sorry farmers. Look like you got screwed again. Every time something goes bad, every time there's a recession, the farmers get it. They get hit hard. But this one's on us, or whoever voted for this guy, because that's exactly what he did. He took away their livelihood, then promised them payments, but he didn't lock it in. 
He didn't say, he didn't earmark it. So Joe Biden's found this $30 billion sitting there. He's going to give that out to people who don't have jobs, people who are unemployed, people who are sick, people who need the COVID vaccine, how to get it out quicker, how to make more of it. So big change is coming, reorganization, positive thoughts. Um, it's a roller coaster, man. I think it. I think it's it's beginning to unkink. The system is beginning to unkink and run again. Diplomats will be put in place that are actually diplomats instead of Burger King guys, or they own a restaurant somewhere. So he put them in there uh, because they gave him money for his. These these are political appointments. They they're not they're not uh, diplomats. They're they're people who paid money to get him elected. So he's rewarding him. Now I must say this is not new. This goes way back to the beginning of the country. Uh, pork is not new. That goes back to the beginning of the country. Uh, but people, we're going to re-engage with these countries overseas. We need seasoned diplomats that know the landscape, that can make deals. So that's where we're headed. Good or bad, we're, we've gone down this road. Just like we went down the last road, we're going to go down this road. And our paid representatives are taking us down it, along with the new president, Joe Biden. I wish him luck. And um, whatever we can do to help our people and other people, I'm happy for that. So um, growing pains, predatory lending, re-engaging in the world. Farmers are not going to get that money that he promised that he didn't earmark. Because why? Because he doesn't care. Uh, February the 28th at 2 Central and the Go Live Healing. Uh, this is not just nationwide. This is not just in the United States. This is worldwide. Anybody that wants to join in and send energy and we'll pick someone that night who has to be in the chat room. Because if you notice the last one we did, I was able to talk with her and ask her questions. And she responded through chat saying, I said something about being nauseous. She said, yes, and, and that helped. So I think they need to be there where I can communicate with them and you can hear from them as healers and know what to do. I think you got a lot out of it. Her telling you things helped you send the energy maybe to a different place or to the right place or in a different manner. Because all you, all you healers work differently and they're all good. <laughs> There are no bad healing sessions. They're all good because individuality is what healing's about. It's a solo sport. It's not a solo sport when we do it together. It's wonderful. So February the 28th, I keep repeating this, I'm sorry, but I think it's important. February the 14th, a go live uh, reading session. We're gonna do um, uh, Valentine's Day. All this stuff is free. So join in. I mean, it's it's fun. It's interesting. We have the best people on this YouTube site. The most caring, loving, giving people I've ever seen in a group in my life. They joined in in the healing. They made this lady feel better. We've got a, a letter from her saying so, thanking us. Um, someone's saying repeat performance. Ugh, I was hoping I wouldn't hear that. So I'm not opposed to doing repeat performance. Let me hear from you guys. What do you think? Should we give someone else a chance? Or should we repeat on Janice on the 28th? It's up to you guys. I'm okay with it either way. Um, as long as we're helping somebody, I don't care. Um, I have healing now on my website and a donate button for donuts. And I'm just happy to be on this YouTube thing. I'm just glad that the site works. It's not my YouTube site. It has my name on it, but it's it's ours. And someone mentioned in the chat, in the uh, did a thing about they've been a member of this YouTube channel forever, and now things are really getting exciting. <laughs> she didn't know what to think. I always thought it was exciting, but apparently she thinks it's more exciting. So uh, this has been a long video. I'm sorry. Uh, don't apologize. I, I believe it. Yeah, I'm not going to apologize. Get what you can out of it. Uh, a lot of information in this video. 
I've talked too much. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching. I didn't see an orb this time. Where's the orb? Zoom through. As soon as I say that, it'll appear. Orb. I actually don't know who this orb is. Am I going to tell you? Probably not. It's real personal, but I do know who it is. I was told right after I said that. That's why I was so confused in the video. I actually know who it is. You wouldn't know this person anyway. Um, and I might not know this person either. Figure that one out. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.